What is up, guys? We are now live on the channel. We got a few topics to talk about today. Let me know you're in the comment section. iPhone 8, OnePlus 5, Galaxy J7 Max. Let me know you're in the stream by commenting in the comment section. Let me know if you're hearing this audio because I'm recording this through the Sony lavalier microphone. Let me know how the audio is going. What's up, everybody? I see you in the stream, PS Tech. Everybody, how's the audio right away? How's the audio right away? Please go ahead and comment that. Can you hear me clear? Am I clear? Am I clear? Can you hear me clear? Let me know, am I clear? I'm fine, okay, I see you fine. What's up, Philip? I see you. I see you, Gameplay Channel. Everybody in the stream, am I clear? Can you hear me clearly? So get this out of the way before we start. Okay, audio is nice and clear, good. Okay, anyway, so we're gonna talk today about the iPhone 8. We're gonna talk about the OnePlus 5, Galaxy J7 Max, Nokia 3 and 6, and we're gonna talk about the updates to the channel. Thank you guys for letting me know that it's clear. I appreciate that. So the first question of the day is, are you guys digging the new renders and leaks of the iPhone 8? So of course we're gonna have the iPhone 8 on the channel, but supposedly people are saying that this camera here like seen on the 7 Plus, is supposed to turn, I don't know about all that vertical action, but it's supposed to, you know what I mean? It's supposed to turn vertical. And uh, how, how are you guys feeling about that? Are you looking forward to this new iPhone 8 with the vertical lens, if this does happen to be the case? Comment that in the stream right there. So let me know what's going on here with that. So continue, okay, it's clear, okay. So we're talking iPhone 8 to get this live stream started. So we said, are you liking the renders and leaks so far? Because we are going to have the iPhone 8 here on the channel. So are you guys liking that so far? Do you think the OnePlus 3T has a superior to the Note 5? Well, we're going to be doing a video there soon. So yes, it will be a unique feature. Awesome. Clear. It's a phone with the Apple's design. Yeah, really looking forward to it. We're going to have it on the channel. So also, leave in the stream. You know, these are a way for me to talk to you live one-on-one -on -one to see what you guys want to see in upcoming videos when we get the iPhone 8. Because better believe it, I'm planning for the iPhone 8. I know you guys want to see it. Note 8 is in discussion here as well today. We've talked about that in prior live streams. Please make a video on a fake iPhone. Should we buy it or not? Uh, that's a good, that's a clever idea. We're going to think about doing some fake iPhone action in here. But so also let's talk now a little bit about the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. By the way, somebody just asked, which camera are you using in this stream? Well, I'm using the OnePlus 3T camera. This is my go-to live streaming camera due to the fact that it does have 16 megapixels on the front. But it also has to do with the fact that natural light is coming into the studio right now. So that's why it looks pretty clear. Um, let me see what somebody said about the iPhone 8. Sorry if my finger gets in the way, but I'm reading your guys' comments. iPhone 8, 5.6 inch display, dual camera and touch ID, iOS 11 icon change. Awesome. So shout out, shout outs from Kenya. There is a lag. There's a lag on what? What do you mean a lag on what? On the video? That might be your internet connection. I'm not seeing any lag on my end here. Hi, Nikel McCarty. I see you in the stream. Everybody who's joining in, let me know how the audio is going. Can you hear it? Can you see this clearly? Let me know down below. Okay, so there's a new phone that I've seen, you know, that's made its way. And it's the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. Now, the Galaxy J7 is a very popular phone, especially in India as well as even in the States, it's a pretty popular phone. No matter where you're at, the J7 is a solid, solid phone. So which, uh, what do you guys think about this J7 Max? You guys want to see it on the channel? Um, I've seen the, you know, a decent Samsung phone, the the Galaxy A3, pretty solid, but this J7 Max is incredibly, incredibly uh, good value, I would say. So we might bring that to the channel as well, the J7 Max. So let me talk about, let me hear about that one. What do you guys think of the J7 Max? Will you make a review on Sony smartphones? I seen that they are now bringing Sony smartphones to the States, so I might actually bring those around to the channel if you guys wanna see that. Now, but we're talking here about the J7 Max. I'm not sure if you guys are totally aware of this phone yet, but the J7 Max could come soon. Let's see, somebody said, out of your videos you have done, iPhone and battery life, would you rather have? 
Okay, let's go down to J7 is good phone under uh, low budget. Yes, J7 is a good phone indeed. I'm him seeing lag. I don't know what people are are seeing what they mean lag. That might be your internet connection. This is going very smooth on my end. J7 Pro is much better. So we see yes, I want to see J7. Okay, a Apple is vertical because everyone is now copying horizontal. So Apple want to be unique. And by the way, I have a question. Let's see your question. What's the difference about the J7 Max? Well, it's kind of like the 2017 updated J7. It's got probably better specs than last year's J7 and J7 Prime. So I'll be seeing that soon on the channel. When will the iPhone 8 come? The iPhone 8 is likely to drop, you know, near the, you know, fall time frame around September, October. But how's the, how about this Nokia 3? Nokia 3 and Nokia 6. What do you think about that? Nokia 3 and Nokia 6. Do you guys want to see Nokia around the channel? I used to do a couple of Nokia videos way back if you've been following the channel for a long time, the Nokia Lumia series and things like that. Okay, let's see what somebody said right here. Sir, which phone, which is the best laptop out there? By the way, for everybody commenting, we're in the section. I just asked the question, Nokia 3. Do you guys want to see it? It's a new, cheaper, you know, Nokia smartphone that's got Nokia 6 style design. Sir, which is the best laptop out there? That's a very general question. I'm going to have to have you go ahead and specify what you're looking for in a laptop. Mind if I ask you, how many phones do you use when you're vlogging? You know, people will often ask, why do you need so many phones, Nick? And it's funny because the phones actually come in handy because you got one phone that you got your notes on, then you got your other phone that you're vlogging with, and then you got the phone that you're making a video about. So having these multiple phones is important. Um, but when I'm vlogging, I probably have about two to three phones on me at once. So yes, Nokia is the best. So we want to see some Nokia around these parts. And uh, what do you guys think of the new updated design? We have a new channel banner on the channel. Just rock my pop filter over here on my blue snowball. But what do you think of the new design? We got the red and black and white theme going for the rest of the year. I think it matches how hard we've been going on this channel, taking all kinds of action. Please take off your headphones. I'm not taking off my headphones and blocking out the background noise. Let's see, Nokia 9 is going to be a beast for sure. Much, much love, okay, Nokia 5. I'm going through the comments right now, so let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, which is your primary smartphone? I don't really got a primary, you know, I'm the type of person who don't wanna choose. I want an abundance of options, so I just switch between an LG and a Samsung and an iPhone, whatever, you know. But if I had to choose just one phone, I probably would go with, mm, I'm going to say the SA Plus as an all-around phone. I probably would choose that. Make a video about iPhone 7 chipgate. What's your opinion on the new Canon 200D? I'm not a big camera buff. I'm more of a, you know, I've been really into laptops and phones. So let's see right here. Have you ever used Gear VR? As a matter of fact, yes, I have. I have the Gear VR right here. You can see it came with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. It's phenomenal. It's probably one of the best cheaper gear, gear products you can get, the VR. VR is coming to the channel, guys. I have a camera that's going to be shooting in VR. So this channel is going to the top with the VR stuff, too. I'm going to be shooting 360 live streams eventually, so you can look all the way around. But I'm just, I'm just now, you know, starting. We're starting the channel with the live stream, so this is new. You gotta, you gotta practice to master it. New channel design is fire. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And uh, we got some haters in the stream once again. Welcome haters, hashtag haters not allowed. Let's see, you should write Ackerman under Nick. Well, it wouldn't have fit too too well in terms of the banner for mobile, so, um, or I would have done that. Let's see, go, go from S8 plus to one plus five, yes or no. Uh, if you want more speed, yes. If you want more features, absolutely not, and not a better screen. So let's see what else we got going here on the stream. Wow, these 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 uh comments are coming in fast and furious now. Hi Nick, please make a video on all the YouTube gear you use. Man, I really want to do this video. It's gonna come soon, but God, there's just gear all over the place. I gotta get it organized first before we start making. And man. Started with a cheapo i3 laptop. We've come a long way. And I'm going to definitely show you guys what I got for the gears to help you guys see how you can make your channel. You know, if you decide to make a channel yourself. Uh, let's see. Uh, what about iPhone SE? 
iPhone SE, we actually got an iPhone SE video coming later today. Um, the reason I'm making this live stream is because I'm not done with the intros yet for the new channel. The intros are coming and this iPhone SE video is coming too. So if you're an iPhone SE fan and you're in the stream, look out. We got some iPhone SE content coming later today. But let's get back to the topics of this video. We were talked iPhone 8. People said, you guys said, you know, the vertical design is unique. It's a new thing. You guys said the iPhone 8 is definitely going to be something I'm looking forward to. We talked Galaxy J7 Max. People have said the J7 Max is, you know, J7 is a great low budget phone. I've seen what you guys said so far. We said Nokia. A lot of people said you like Nokia. So let's get into, how about Galaxy Note 8? I've talked about this in my previous live streams, but... The Note 8 is something that I think everyone's looking forward to. I'm, I hope they make a flat screen, honestly. You know, that'd be nice. It'd be nice to see a flat screen on the upcoming Note 8, but I don't think it's going to happen. So let's see. Nokia 3 was born with the same proverbial silver spoon, and given the right circumstance, you could, it could use it towards even more impressive sales advantage. True, I think the Nokia is going to be a, quite good in sales. Apple MacBook Air Core i5, 5th gen, can we buy it in 2017? I would absolutely not recommend you buy a MacBook Air in 2017. The screen with a TN panel, they're just so much better options. Just if you do a little research, you get much better phone in 2017 or laptop than the MacBook Air. So Galaxy Note 8, what do you guys want to see going forward on the Note 8? And, you know, I might actually sell my S8 to get the Note 8 because I don't really, you know, use the S8 as much as I thought I would and definitely still use my Note uh, 5 a lot. Note 7 was a blender. Note 8 should be a good one. It should be a great one. In fact, it should. And for all those out there who uh, kept the Note 7, you got courage because you can't even take those things on a plane. Let's see. When will Apple release iOS... Uh, when will Apple release iOS public beta 2? Well, probably, I'm going to say in a couple weeks, you know, a week or two. They usually release them early in the week. It possibly might even release next Monday. We're going to have to see. But I definitely have beta reviews that I'm still working on with the smaller phones. As well as, you know, I'm going to be, you know, I've been a little bit hesitant about putting, you know, iOS 11 on my main smartphone, the iPhone 7 Plus, because iPhone 7 Plus, I, I don't want it to get all buggy. This is my main iPhone when I do use the iPhone device. But uh, yeah, anyway, I also want to talk about, you know, let me get some questions going. We talked a few topics that I titled this video. We talked iPhone 8. We talked J7. Let's hear from you guys now. Let's see what you guys want to talk about. This is uh, about you guys too, not just about what I want to talk about. So let's see. You got... Uh, should I buy an iPhone 6 32 gigabyte space gray? Are you referring to that newer, cheaper one that's $199? Definitely, it's a decent deal. Just don't go to iOS 11 right now on that guy. So let's see. Look at me. I didn't even know that I could put my finger over here and scroll. <laughs> I was putting it over here, blocking the camera and stuff, making this experience not as good. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Should I buy the iPhone SE or OnePlus 3? <laughs> OnePlus 3, easily the better phone if you ask me. Uh, let's go down. Let's go down. Shiba Nahak said, okay, I answered that question. Let's see what else people are saying. Should I buy the iPhone 7? I see you, Steven. He says, should I buy? Steven says, should I buy the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 6S? Those phones are pretty identical. I think that, you know, if you can live without a headphone jack, go with the iPhone 7. You'll be a happy camper. So I'm getting a call live on camera, so I'm going to have to go ahead and Shut this down. Okay. Somebody was calling me live on camera, so I had to shut that down. Yes, that was the S8 I'm using as my daily right now. I could trade my first generation iPad Pro 12.9 and add, hold on, and add 300 to get the new iPad Pro 12.9. Do you think it's worth it? Trade your first for the 12.9, add 300 to get the second. If you're a heavy iPad user, I think it is worth it. Only 300 to get, you know, the 120 hertz display, that beautiful iPhone 7 camera. Flash now, you didn't have a flashlight on the previous iPad Pro 12.9. Yes, I would say that's a great deal if you can get if you can get an iPad Pro 12.9, the new one for only 300 bucks. I would say go for it. That's that's a solid upgrade right there. Screen's much better. Should I stay with the iPhone 6, 16 gig, or go with the iPhone 7? iPhone 7 is going to double the storage. That's a pretty easy one right there. So, got questions coming in. All right, so 
I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the channel updates. So for those of you who haven't been in the stream, we've been talking about this earlier. We just updated the banners on the channel. I have new outros coming. You're going to see it later today. Jack, I don't have a cat, but thank you for asking. I got a dog. I have to keep him quiet sometimes because he gets a little bit whiny in the videos. But um, yeah, the new intros are now on the channel. and uh, Or not intros, the new channel banner. But the new theming is pretty much across the board. You can now find me at facebook.com slash Nick Ackerman channel, instagram.com slash Nick Ackerman channel, and youtube.com slash Nick Ackerman channel. So if you guys know how to find me, if you're looking for some other places to reach me at. So let's see, Milky 9, 6 gigs of RAM, water resistant 4K video, Gorilla Glass, sounds pretty solid. Doesn't sound too impressive like we've seen these specs before, but Nokia's, Nokia 9 looking pretty good. Do you have a parrot? I don't know how relevant having a parrot would be to tech channels. Well, we're gonna make them talk, we're gonna, we're gonna teach the parrot how to say, iPhone 8, iPhone 8, or <laughs> something like that. Do you run this channel by yourself? Well, I mean, I mean, I make the videos by myself, but I mean, I wouldn't be making the videos without you guys. Me and you, we run the channel. Me and you. Me and you run the channel. Without you, this channel doesn't exist. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. Yes, I create the videos by myself. Yes, I edit them. Yes, all of this is pretty much done by me and myself. That's why, I mean, that's why you don't see, you know, um, videos. Yeah, I, I take action quick, so... Videos come out a lot, but you know, I love making these videos and you guys supporting me makes me want to do it even more. So thank you all for that. Let's scroll down here. Let's see what we got. Um, let's go. I don't like, I don't talk politics uh, for somebody asking about politics. Dell XPS 2017 and MacBook or MacBook 13. So I actually did buy the MacBook Pro. I'm actually going to go use it later to go ahead and edit today's video. I needed this laptop for, uh, what's it say, uh, travel. I'm going to LA in a couple of days. Let me know if you guys want to see a live stream in LA by the beach. We can talk, we can chat in Venice. And uh, yeah, I picked up the MacBook Pro. For those of you wondering, I was actually trying to choose between, you know, the, the MacBook Pro 2017 as well as the Dell XPS. And I found that the, the MacBook Pro is just a computer that I think will be better for the long run. The Dell XPS has got some solid specs, Infinity Display, but I'm I'm just not digging Windows for you know overall reliability for me. That's just my take. I know Dell XPS is amazing though. Well, love your channel, Nick. You should you and Eric and Easy Computer Solution are the most honest tech reviewers out there. Thank you very much. Let's see what else we got in here. Somebody talking about giving me a haircut i do my own haircuts <laughs> let's see do you think the iphone se will be popular when the iphone 8 comes out iphone se be popular when the iphone 8 comes out absolutely i mean the iphone se is coming down in price and a lot of people are going to get their hands on it and experience blazing fast speed for basically you know a cheaper price point the se is now like 150 dollars Depending if you live in America, depending on where you're at, you know, even in India, it should have dropped a little. Has the iPhone SE dropped in India for my Indian uh, fans out there? Let me know. But um, the the iPhone SE 2, I pulled this on Instagram. I asked you guys, do you guys want to see the iPhone SE 2? I was hoping that, you know, a lot of people said, yeah, which they did. So that means that if the SE 2 does a release, we are going to have it here on the channel. Note 5 still good in 2017. I made a video just on that title, Should You Buy a Galaxy Note 5 in 2017. You can check it out on the channel. Currently on the treadmill, but I still tune in. Awesome, bro. Thanks for tuning in on the treadmill. like to see people exercising. That's some great stuff. You know, I should do a little bit more of that myself. <laughs> I bike a lot, but today it's video day. Let's go down. Let's see what people are saying so far. Uh, Let's see. Been here since 45,000 subs. Can you please review the A5 2017? I will look into the A5 2017 for sure. Love from India. Love from Chicago. Your age. Well, okay. SE. So for anybody, 40,000 rupees for the SE in India. What's the translation? Somebody do it on Google Translate. What's the translation? 40,000 rupees in India to US dollars. What's the translation for price over there? Okay, Note 8 or Galaxy S8, what would you choose? Um, you know, Note 8's not out, it's speculation. I would wait 
to see what the Note 8 offers before I choose between those two. James, what's up, James? I see you. What do you think about the LG V30? James wants to know about the V30. Man, that's going to be a content creation beast. Cannot wait for the V30. Uh, it depends, because I'm going to have to see how it stacks up next to the Note 8. But, you know, if the V30 doesn't bring a pen, I'm going to be a little bit like, come on, LG, you can bring a pen. You know, you got the G6 to go against the S8, but you got the V30. We need a pen to compete against the Note 8, if you know, if you know what I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let's go down. Let's see. Uh, Note 8 or I8? Which are you most excited about, Note 8 or the i8? So you're saying the iPhone 8. Definitely the iPhone 8. We need to see a redesign on the iPhone 8. We know Samsung's going to kill it on hardware. They're leading the smartphone market in terms of hardware. But, you know, the Note 8 is definitely one. Check out all them review boxes over there. I got to get to some of those guys over there. You see all them, all them products over there? We got to get to those babies over there. So let's see what people are saying. Should I stay with the iPhone SE after two years? Easily, it's a great phone still. It's very fast. Actually, one of the best performing phones on the iOS 11 beta, surprising. Uh, thanks, Nick. You're welcome, James. Thanks for tuning in and writing your comments. Any other questions, bring them in. We kind of went through the topics of today's live stream. Uh, now it's all me and you just chatting here. So for any of you who just joined the stream, when it drops, you'll be able to see what we talked about earlier. But just to recap, we talked about iPhone 8, talking about the new design, do you want to see it? A Galaxy J7 Max, a new, you know, entry-level, solid budget smartphone. Nokia 3 and 6, we talked. We talked the new channel intros and banners dropping today. This is, you know, something I've been looking forward to doing for a very long time is dropping these new themes. You know, I run this thing by myself pretty much with all the videos and stuff. So editing, getting to this took a while, but it's finally available. We got the new red theming going and I cannot wait to make iPhone 8 videos with the red theming. It's gonna be great with the new intro. And uh, let's see, you're better than the best reviewers online. Pleasure to see your reviews, let's go, more power. Thank you very much, Frederick. I appreciate your support. I appreciate all of you guys, man. I cannot wait to the day I can give you all like multiple iPhones. You know, I'm trying to do an iPhone giveaway, you know, 100,000 subs, I'm trying to do that. So I'm gonna plan that out. You know, I gotta see how those international laws work with the uh, smartphone giveaways though. Let's see what we have right here. Can you review Vivo's smartphone phones? I'll look into them. I heard they're a pretty solid budget company, but we're gonna have to see how much you know, uh, we're going to have to see how much interest there is in the, the Vivos. So, yeah, I was recapping. Like I said, we talked about Note 8, Nokia 3, J7 Max. What's up, Joshy Tech? I see you. I know Joshy Tech's been following the channel forever, way back, thousands of subscribers ago. Shout out to all the people. I remember all of you from the newer subscribers. I love all of you, new subscribers, old subscribers. You're all amazing. You're all incredible. And I just wanna let you guys know, man, if you guys love technology and you guys wanna make videos, you can do this too, man. I'm no different than you. You know, I started with crappy old phones and I did what I had to do to get to a point where I could start showing and reviewing the latest and greatest techs. Shout out from South Los Angeles. I'll be in Los Angeles in a couple of days, actually. I think I'm going there next week. So, yeah, I actually am. I'm going to fly out there over next week. I'll probably be doing a live stream in L.A. Any good spots, dank bros, let me know. Okay. You prefer the iPhone 8 or the Note 8? I talked about that one already. Definitely want to see the, the, the iPhone 8 first. And, uh, yeah, so I was just saying, you know, if you guys want to do this too, man, if you guys are inspired by this, like you could do this too. Just get a microphone, set up a tripod, get your camera going, and uh, just let it rip. Just let it rip. You know, express yourself. Talk about what you want to talk about. I just happen to be some dude that loves technology, and I found my tribe. All of you, you guys love technology too, and you guys are amazing for that. So let's get some questions rolling in. What do you guys want to see? when it comes to the upcoming reviews on the channel. I'm gonna continue beta coverage, that's happening. So follow the channel, beta coverage is coming. I know a lot of you are Android fans. I will be bringing Android stuff too. Um, I'm actually gonna be making some investments this month into some other phones. You're gonna see some creative, clever, old school reviews too this month as well. So you might wanna stick around and those are gonna be pretty entertaining. Wait till you see those. 
Also, you know, I'm going to be covering the iPhone 8 on this channel in the future. Also, I'm going to be covering MacBook stuff. I just, I'm still learning MacBook, so I don't want to come out here and not know anything about MacBook and be like, hey, man, check out this MacBook, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm talking about, you know? So I'm using MacBook a little bit more, and then I'll be doing some what's on my Mac stuff and things like that. And uh, you've inspired me. I'm so, you know, grateful to hear that. I've inspired you. I appreciate that. Thank you for sharing that. iPhone 7 black or silver. Black or silver? I would go with silver. I think the silver is sleek on the iPhone 7. That's just me. Amazing work, Nick. I see you, Paul. Keep it up on your channel. Paul, I see you on the channel grinding over there. Much love. Maybe we could collab someday. Uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or iPhone 8 or Pixel XL2. Please reply. Whoa, that's a that's a big one. iPhone 8, Pixel 2. Woo! That's a big one. Okay. Personally, I wait for the Pixel XL too. You know, it's Google's phone, it's Google's baby, it's Android. You know, it's all around gonna be probably the smoothest phone of the year. Just expect that baby to start at 999, 99, 99. You know what I mean? It's gonna be up there. So I don't have iOS 11 yet on my iPad. I'm actually gonna be doing when I get back from LA next week. I'm gonna be doing the iPad iOS 11 review. I'm gonna actually take the chance and throw iOS 11 on my iPad, and I'm gonna show you guys how it's how it works. You know, it's probably gonna be laggy, but whatever, it'll be fine. I'll put iOS 10.3.2 back on there. Uh, much love from Kenya. Much love, Stephen. I see you, man. It's just amazing to see all you guys around the world. You know, should. Should I purchase an iPhone 7 Plus after the launch of the iPhone 8? If you're looking to do that, of course, the iPhone 7 Plus is going to drop in price dramatically. Probably, I wouldn't say dramatically, probably a good 100 to 200 bucks. But, you know, finding a 7 Plus right now, I've seen 7 Pluses for under 600 on eBay. They are 32 gigs, don't get me wrong, but definitely cool. Hit me up if you're in Los Angeles area, bro. Definitely, you're from, you're from Los Angeles? I'm, I'm coming there next week gonna be with the family so we're gonna see how that's gonna work but i'll definitely uh let you know i'm over there okay let's see nick you are so cool thanks so much appreciate that let's see uh hey man you can say no but i'm losing subs can you give me a shout out well to get subs man you just gotta be you bro it's not about you know you, you can't have the goal of just getting subs subs actually don't like that they don't want you you know wanting to just have their sub you gotta earn their subscription bro they wanna they wanna know like what do you want what 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 are you giving me like you know people have time you know people don't got time to do everything to watching your channel all day so you gotta present them with something that you know is worthy of their time for example on my channel what kills it is, you know, people are looking for, should I buy this phone or that phone? I make a lot of those videos because people need to know, you know, they walk in the store and the Best Buy rep or the reps, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. So they come over to this channel and they're like, man, finally somebody who can speak some clear English knows what he's talking about. Finally, these people, they hire these people, they don't know what they're talking about in the store. So that's why we make <laughs> videos over here too. I used to go in the store all the time and nobody knows what they're talking about. And it just aggravates me because I'm like, I could just read this on my phone. And yeah, but I'm not going to go on a, a rant here. I'm just letting you know why, you know, people ask, you know, give me more subs, giving you more subs. People don't just give subs. You got to earn those babies. So, um. If, the, if I buy the iPhone SE and update it to iOS 11, expect it to lag in it. Definitely will expect for the iPhone SE to lag. The iPhone SE will lag. You're welcome, everything, Samsung Pro. Okay, let's see. FaceTime app is not able in my iPhone 7, from which I brought. Okay, somebody keeps asking me, do you like burgers? No, I actually don't eat burgers very often at all. Um, okay, so... I gotta have I have a few more questions for you guys here. So, what is the you know type of video that you have enjoyed the most on the channel? You personally, I'm talking to you, and you know, I know there's more than one of you, but let's just let's just pretend like it's just me and you talking right now. What is your favorite type of phone? Do you prefer Amazon or Best Buy? I love both equally, but Best Buy feels like I'm in a candy store. Hey man, I totally agree with you. Best Buy is my hangout location. Everybody, let's go hang out at Best Buy. Eventually, I actually have the dream and the vision, and fortunately, I think I'll be able to do this someday. I'm gonna rent out a warehouse, we're gonna bring a whole bunch of tech, and we're all gonna come here. You guys can get some tickets, come through, so we can you know, pay for the event and we're all gonna hang out and we're all gonna chill 
and talk phones. We're all going to talk tablets. We're going to have all the, the, the latest stuff and we're going to talk those things. Yeah. So, but definitely to answer your question, Best Buy is definitely a kid in a candy store for me as well. Long-term reviews, they matter the most. Show the phones for longevity. I'm definitely writing a note down because you got a point there. I don't, actually, I just shot a longevity-based review where I was talking about my experience with a certain phone. That's dropping next week, but I will take note of that. Longevity-based reviews. People want to see, you know, how long this phone lasts. Okay, iPhone should I purchase series? So let me write that down. iPhone should I purchase? I'm actually in the process of finishing my iPhone collection. I got to get the 6 Plus. I got to get the 4, the 3, the 2G, and I think that's pretty much all of them. And then we could do pretty much a 5C as well. So let's see. Does your S8 lag? Well, let's see. I got the S8 right here. Let's see if we can get some lag here live on camera. So let me get out of my phone dialer. Okay, so doesn't look like I see much lag here on the S8. I think people confuse lag for glitching. The S8 definitely glitches sometimes, but definitely does not lag. It doesn't lag. It's just a little bit, it's not as buttery smooth as the iPhone 7 Plus. So coming home, you can see no lag, no lag there. It looks pretty good. But the 7 Plus, definitely a little bit smoother overall, as you can see, but not too much different. I mean, this is really minor stuff these days. Both phones are incredible. Nook, uh, let's see. Let's go down. It's Stephen Curry. I know I've heard that a lot. Steph Curry just got a $201 million contract. Congratulations, Steph. You deserve it. Well-deserved. Hard work. Hard work. And also, you know, he probably, you know, visioned himself being a champion and getting a max contract. So well-deserved. Okay. Let's go down a little bit. Galaxy Note S7 or Note 5. As a matter of fact, I'm going to write that down because I don't think I've made that video. Uh, should you buy Galaxy S7? I might have, though. Galaxy S7 or Note 5. Okay. Anybody with some, uh, what was I going to say, some video suggestions, drop them in the feed. Drop them in the feed. Your best phone now. So is that, is that a video suggestion? Are you asking me? You you asking me live on camera right here? What is that? Okay. Will you make reviews? I've already answered your question earlier. I said I will as we go forward. One plus five or Q Mobile? I'm not exactly sure what Q Mobile is. Let me check that out. I haven't checked that out before. Q Mobile. Let's see what we got going. Q Mobile. Okay, we got some Q Mobile action. Okay. M six. One plus five added to your list. OnePlus 5 is coming for sure. No, don't get the Q-Mobile. I'm seeing right now OnePlus 5 all day. OnePlus 5 has its screen upside down. Uh, let's see. Do a console review. Not a gamer, so you're probably not going to see that here. Unless it's a new console, like the Nintendo Switch and all that stuff. I might review that, you know. Let's see. No, 8. I already answered that one. Go to apple.com, sign up for, okay, so somebody's showing somebody how to do it. Thank you guys for helping each other out in the stream. That's always helpful. But we have the, you know, we have the iOS. We have some more iOS betas coming up. You know, iPhone SE wants to see a revisited video. That's, that's, that's important. You know, I've done a few of those. I've done quite a few, but we got some SE fans around here. And uh, do an iPhone SE revisit. We got some more videos coming later today. We got iOS, you know, reviews coming. We also have a some Android stuff coming next week. I'm actually in the process of shooting a bunch of videos so we can release them next week while I'm in LA. There's no way I'm going to be able to make a video while I'm on the plane. But I'll show you guys some live streaming and stuff like that or some, some Instagram stories, if you will, on the plane. I'll take some pictures. You guys can see that. Go follow my Instagram page to stay updated on that. But I see Chargers review. Are you a part-time, full-time YouTuber? I'm full-time YouTuber for sure. I mean, you cannot release videos day after day after day after day part-time. People just don't get it. Like, YouTube is a process. This is not like, oh, I just shoot a video, boom, it's up there. No, there's a lot that goes into it. Let's see. What time is it in America right now? Well, America has different time zones as well, but where I'm at, it's like, it's like 1140 in the morning. He says it's 10, 11 at night over there. So it's nighttime over there. It's definitely morning over here. That's why you're seeing the light coming in. Pretty cool how you can see like it's daytime over here and it's nighttime over there. Pretty cool. Especially editing, it takes time. Definitely does. I'm pretty fast at editing now. I actually use uh, 
when I want to be fast, I use this Windows Movie Maker. I don't know if you guys have used this before. Windows Windows Movie Maker. When I want to be fast, when I want to do 4K, I use this application called I think it's Adobe Elements. So you can see right here the Adobe Elements 14. I'm not sure if you could see that. You probably can't see that. But this is a Elements 14. And on the Mac, I do use iMovie right now. Definitely can show you guys how to use those things. Um, I'm not really into the whole pro editing stuff yet. Let's go install and exit. I'll be back in a second, guys. But just wanted to show you those editing softwares. But I'm definitely not into the pro video editing stuff, you know, just yet. Like Adobe Premiere, Final Cut. I, I just don't need those softwares. I'm more into, you know, doing... Make sure you produce the video correctly so you don't have to do a whole bunch of editing in the background. Okay, so he wants to know, do I eat healthy food? Um, yeah, I had some green beans yesterday and broccoli, so I would consider that healthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I will try that. Mm, computer specs, Nick. Oh, you want to know the computer specs? Oh, this is actually hooked up to my laptop. This is just a ultra-wide uh, uh, LG monitor back there. But in terms of my specs, I got 16 gigs of RAM on here, i5, uh, the 7200U, so it's 7th gen CPU. So it's pretty much a little laptop B setup over there. It does the job, gets the job done. And let's see, nice PC behind you. Thank you very much. I will be doing a setup tour once I get things cleaned up. It's a little messy in here. You see all these review boxes going over there. A little messy in here. I will get this stuff set up and do a, a setup tour eventually, as well as show you guys my my whole like gear. I want to make a gear bag. I got a I got a new bag here. I got this new bag here that I put my gear in, and I want to show you guys the gear I put in the bag. For example, I put this. This is the new MacBook right here that I just got. I'm gonna be using this MacBook for editing on the go. Definitely, definitely need that small stuff for on the go editing, which is pretty. Pretty definitely useful. Which laptop do you have just interested? If you're talking about which laptop I have for the setup right here, it's the Windows Acer E15. And for the Go, it's the, the MacBook Pro 13. Now for, for all, I do have the 15 Pro, the 2015 edition is an older MacBook, but that's for more of the, how would you say, the, the super beast editing. Because neither of these two laptops here have i7s. They can't handle major stuff. So let's see. Everything, okay. 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 What are the advantages you think of Mac OS versus Windows versus OS? Ooh, that's a tough one. Mac OS, definitely easier. You don't have to, uh, it's pretty much all laid out. You know, it's pretty much all laid out. You know, just laid out very easily. It's very easy to use. And uh, Windows is like Android to me of PCs. It's like customizable. You can do whatever the hell you want on it. MacBook is definitely the more reliable platform, I think. If you just want to get work done, you don't want to deal with other stuff, I would say the Mac's the way to go. But if you're computer savvy, if you you want power and you want it at a great price, PC's the way to go. You want to customize, PC's the way to go. You want to hook up things without any issues, without having to get all these extra ports and adapters and USB thumbs and all this extra crap. Windows is the way to go. I mean, you can get a gig, you can get a gaming laptop with a one terabyte hard drive, hybrid SSD drive, which is like it'll boot up extremely fast. Plus, you'll have one terabyte. Of storage and uh the mac don't get viruses Zachary. that's not true they absolutely do get viruses as a matter of fact people have been targeting macs for viruses more frequently due to the fact that more people are buying macbooks now so that is totally false um are you going to be doing live streams more regularly and if so are we going to need some more are we going to get some admins um we're going to need some administrators i'm actually not sure how the freak to do those administrators just yet i should probably read about that how do you guys do the administrators on the live stream this is all new to me right here definitely all new to me you're doing a really nice job and yes to answer your questions i am doing live streams regularly this is actually the fourth episode of live streams as a matter of fact i'm going to be doing more of these too with my vr camera over there that can shoot 360 so you can see that you know that would be pretty nice to see a 360 live stream so that 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 is definitely on the way as well so if you guys want to see that so let's see what else we got going here we got some more questions going in all right guys it's getting a little bit uh stale in the stream so i think i'm gonna okay wait wait 
not stale just yet. Somebody said, what do you think about a collab with MKBHD? MKBHD was one of my inspirations. Um, you know, I definitely would collab with him. You know, I definitely get along. I've, I've read about his, his information. He's a great tech YouTuber. You know, he don't do live streams. I don't know if he would do a video style like this. He's more like... He shoots the video, edits it, and puts it out. And he follows the trends a lot. So I don't know how that would work. But if possible, maybe one day me and him will meet up and do a collab. You're probably going to need a lot more subscribers before people like that start to take notice. But we're going to be there. We're going to be up there in a million. So just keep sharing the content. We're going to be there as well because you bros are the best. And you bros are going to make it happen. Me and you together are going to make it happen. Hey, Nick, which laptop would you recommend under 500? Well, I wouldn't really recommend a lot of laptops under 500. They got tablet power. But uh, the E15 over here, you can get the i3 version under the Acer E15. The i3 version, you can get it under 500. So check that one out. Let's see. Bro, I really like your videos. Thank you very much, sure. I appreciate that. Are you getting the HTC U11? Possibly. Possibly getting the U11. Um... See what people are saying. Get some more questions. We're going to end this stream at 45 minutes. We're at 41 so far. I don't want to take too long. I got to go do some editing on the three videos that I shot today. We're going to release one today, one tomorrow. So definitely got to go do that. So get your last questions in, guys. This is all you now. Putting the phone down. This is all you. Give me your questions. Bring them in. What camera are you doing? What are you using to record this video? This is the OnePlus 3T. Hey, do you think the Samsung J... 3 Prime is a good choice. It's a good budget choice for sure. Which is the better buy, the OnePlus 3T or the 5? The OnePlus 5, easily the better buy. Not that much more money. Extremely impressive performance over, you know, it's a better performance over the 3T. So the OnePlus 5. Should I purchase a secondhand iPhone 7 Plus in India? We have a very good phone market for secondhand iPhones. Definitely, the 7 Plus is a boss phone unless you're really looking forward to the iPhone 8. I would wait if you're looking forward to that. But if you know you just want the 7 Plus, definitely go for it. What are your tips for aspiring reviewers? How did you get started and how do you get gadgets to review? You start with what you have, you work your way up. And if you go back way back in the beginning of my channel, I was reviewing some cheap phones. I'm still going to review cheap phones. You know, they're important too. So, uh, yeah, definitely start with what you have. Get a cheap tripod, get a cheap microphone, a lavalier microphone like we're hooked up here. There's actually a wire you can see right here running to this microphone. Just hook it up to your, to your phone and start shooting. You can do live streaming right now without any editing. Uh, let's see. Do an ask next session again. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind. Your all-time favorite phone? Probably the Galaxy Note 5 so far. I just love the pen. It's like a real pen. It clicks just like a pen. I love the Galaxy Note 5. All-time favorite so far. But I don't use it all the time because it doesn't have the best battery life, but still, my favorite phone all time. Let's see. What? Okay. What was your breakfast? I had a bagel, bro. <laughs> you are becoming my inspiration, bro. Thank you. I'm, I'm very happy to inspire you all. I'm going to keep going, keep creating videos. And eventually, I hope that you're reviewing your own tech and you're not watching this channel as much because you're too busy making your own videos. So, Nick, do you think I would wait? Let's see. It would be better to wait to buy in the Apple Store online. Buy it at the Apple Store. You get much better customer service. They don't give you any issues. You earned a loyal subscriber here. I'm doing for doing this for your subscriber. Thank you. It means a lot. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you, Frederick. Thank you for staying tuned to this live stream and really just, you know, engaging. I love when you guys engage like that. It's so fun. Let's see down here. What about buying items at Best Buy to review and returning them afterward as well? That that comes down to your own choice. That's, um, you know, taking advantage of a return policy. People think I return the iPad Pro to take advantage of a return policy, not knowing that I literally took the iPad Pro and bought Apple's MacBook. So they actually got more money from me. You know, they didn't lose money from me. They got more money from me. So I don't know what that was all about. And, uh, bro, I watch your videos just because I'm going to start a prank channel. Well, prank channels can do well as well. We got about one minute left in the stream. Going on 45 seconds, give your questions, last thoughts, interviews. Another reason why I love your channel is because I can tell how much you enjoy making these videos. It makes it very enjoyable to watch. Thank you for recognizing that, Louie. I appreciate that very much. Keep up the good videos. 
What do you think about Unbox Therapy? Funny channel for sure. Make videos on Spotify versus Apple Music. Cool. Do you recommend LG G5? If you can find that at a great price, yes, indeed. And I there will be a live stream coming next week, so stay tuned. It possibly will be in Los Angeles, California, so we're going to have a new location for that. Anyways, have a great day wherever you are, guys. Thank you for joining the stream. Be sure to be well and peace.